This is my improvement so far from implementing these hair habits for a month and a half. On average, it is considered normal to lose up to 100 hair strands a day. If you're losing a little bit more, you could be experiencing telogen effluvian, which is basically excessive hair shedding triggered by stress, hormones, poor diet, pregnancy, scalp infections, and more. And it doesn't lead to bald spots and it heals naturally over time. Now we have hair breakage. If your hair strand doesn't have this tiny bolt on the end of the hair, it means hair loss is not happening in the follicle and it's a result of breakage somewhere in the hair shaft. Then we have androgenetic alopecia, which is triggered by genetics and it does lead to baldness. However, it can be treated with medication or with laser therapy. So before we get started, a big thanks to iRestore for sponsoring this video. This is the iRestore professional device, which is an at-home laser therapy that reverses genetic hair loss and it can treat conditions like receding hairline, hair thinning, and bald spots without side effects. The way low-level laser therapy works on regrowing hair is by using the light energy from the lasers and the LED lights to stimulate, reactivate, and to nurture all hair follicles at a deeper level. Light therapy pushes your hair into the hair growth phase, turning your hair follicles way more resilient to hair loss because it's gonna make them thicker, stronger, and healthier over time. As you can see, this device has 200 182 lasers and LED lights for a maximum coverage around your scalp. This is not complicated to use at all. All you're gonna do is to put it on and then you're gonna turn it on to 25 minutes, which is the recommended time for the treatment. And when time is up, this is gonna turn off automatically. That's it. I'm excited to try the Eye Restore laser device because I've been experiencing some hair shedding and since laser therapy works at a deeper level in stimulating hair growth and turning hair resilient to hair fall, it makes it a good option to treat this. Eye Restore device can be shared with other members of your family and it can also be used as a way to maintain your scalp and hair in healthy conditions. Eye Restore is FDA proven technology for effective and safety. The great thing about iRestore is that it guarantees your money back if you don't see results in 12 months. If you're interested in this device, you can also use code DODO to get $350 off. By the way, I'm gonna be using this device for the next six months, so if you're curious about my results, make sure to subscribe to stay tuned. So the first habit that I instantly add to my nighttime hair routine when I'm facing excessive hair shedding are scalp massages. Not any scalp massage. There is a specific scalp massage for hair loss called Litumensis Therapy, which is basically a four to five minute scalp massage where you're gonna warm up your scalp for one minute using your knuckles or this area of your hand. And then for the remaining three to four minutes, you're gonna pinch your scalp. You're not gonna pinch your scalp like this. You're gonna pinch your scalp in this way. Don't forget that if your scalp has a lot of tension and stress and it doesn't get enough of blood flow to the hair follicles every single day, hair could potentially begin to fall. And this method, it is an effective way to increase oxygen and to nurture the scalp. <laughs> I need to cool off every time I do this. The second hair habit to include in your nighttime routine that is gonna help you so much in reducing and controlling hair shedding is simple as treating your scalp with rosemary essential oil. To make this, all you're gonna do is to mix one tablespoon of almond oil with 10 drops of rosemary essential oil. So the strategy in here is to use this rosemary oil along with the scalp massage, same one that I already explained a few minutes ago, to make this treatment way more effective. Studies have shown that the use of rosemary oil weekly could promote hair growth and even reverse common ways of hair loss in some cases. Rosemary oil can treat scalp infections like dandruff, reduce inflammation, and improve a poor scalp circulation, which are key factors in reducing hair fall. Don't forget to sleep your eight hours. For skin, hair, and your entire body, recover from a very, very long day, okay? All the above night treatments are gonna be way more effective when your scalp is clean of gunk. And a simple way to achieve this is to adopt the hair habit of exfoliating your scalp every time you wash your hair. I noticed that 
that my scalp feels way more clean when I use a scalp exfoliator than when I use my fingertips. Scalp exfoliators are very gentle and super effective in removing dandruff, dead skin cells. Poor scalp hygiene could lead to scalp infections like dandruff and tons of buildup that it can potentially clog the hair follicles, which can result to more hair shedding. As a part of my hair wash routine, when I'm experiencing hair shedding, I just let my hair air dry. I do not comb my hair when it's wet or anything like that. I try to avoid those things for now. I just apply my leave-in conditioner, my serum, and then when it's completely dry, I brush my hair. We have to complement this hair routine with the four hair habit, which is eating a more balanced diet, specifically a diet high in vitamin D, B12, zinc, and iron. This is one of my favorite smoothies to drink when I'm facing hair shedding. So I make it with one banana, one cup of almond milk, and five strawberries. You can add as many strawberries you want. According to this article, research shows that the lack of vitamin D in your body can lead to hair loss. One role of vitamin Vitamin D plays is stimulating new and all hair follicles. When there isn't enough vitamin D in your system, new hair growth can be stunted. What I try to do is to drink this at least four times during the week. Keep those important vitamins levels up in my body. <laughs> it is insane how much damage stress and anxiety could do to our bodies and yes stress can also trigger hair follicles into a resting phase which basically prevents new hair strands from growing and the current hair then you have to become more weak and eventually falling easily we got some company so a simple way to de-stress yourself is adopting the habit of walking or doing some yoga or even watching something that it makes you laugh every day for 15 minutes when you feel overwhelmed or anxious can minimize cortisol levels on your body helping you to fight hair loss. Taking a break and then just going for a small walk can help you, can definitely help you to calm down your mind and relax a lot and get rid of that stress that it could be causing you hair loss. Telogen, effluvian, it can last up to six to nine months depending on many factors. So the most important thing in here is to stay positive, to keep doing the hair habits, and to be kind to yourself, okay? And also it's very important to check with your doctor to see what's going on with your body in general. Don't forget to share some love to this girl by subscribing to this channel right here. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Pura vida.